Good afternoon, YouTube. Um, this is your American Cuban coming at you. Um, I just wanted to do like a quick video because a lot of people said that we cannot grow big tomatoes in Florida. And to be honest with you, until the other day, I would not agree with that. I mean, I would agree with that 100% because uh, we get huge pressure with the bugs, uh, early blight, late blight, part of mildew, you name it. Every disease and bug that is known to man in Florida, you struggle with that, especially with tomatoes. But I've been trying and trying. This is my second year. I started in 2020. Uh, I made a huge mistake not to not to say the least i think i made millions of mistakes and i learn every year more and more but as you can see i planted these tomatoes in december because i'm like i need to beat these guys these guys cannot be smarter than me i mean i know nature is always right but sometimes you have to think and think and find a way so uh, I, I was searching and searching for something that would do good in Florida, especially here in central Florida that we, we get so much rain and then it's dry and then we get like a huge drought then it's hot and the humidity. So it's like we have like this crazy weather that we never know what's going to happen. So I stumbled across these um, hybrids and uh, I love her. I, I would love the heirloom varieties and all that, and I try them, but unfortunately, that is a New Jersey, like, Marianne, I mean, like, North. They, they can do that. We, we, we just, unfortunately, they don't have that luxury. But guys, I'm, I I this, this hybrid, and look at this, this is a, this one is a pink hybrid from uh, Burpees, and then a daddy's hybrid from Burpees. And if you can see, I mean, it's not too bad for being in Florida. I mean, uh, it's not a cherry tomato, guys. And this is, look at this. It's like everywhere she is loaded. Something that I will say, I think I have helped my whole experiment. Look at this. Look at these beauties. They're beautiful. And I think what it has helped a lot and you see it's loaded. They load it everywhere you see it. So if you want to give it a try, I started early in December. I kept it in my garage. I, I, I would put it outside in my little greenhouse out there if you can see it. And then put it inside in the garage again at night because it was too cold. And then finally I planted it last month at the beginning. But I planted in different places. This one were the first one I planted, but I planted with my blueberries. I built this. If you see it, because my my blueberries were struggling. So I built this, I took, I put a bunch of branches and, you know, in the bottom and leaf and pimas and a lot of stuff just to make sure I got enough biomass in there, like it will, Decomp decompose and then it would be good matter, you know, like compost, you know, when they reach that. And then I make sure the mix that I did for this bed has a lot of acidity. So the pH is probably between 5.5 five to 6.5. And I try to keep it like that. I sprinkle a little bit of, um, acid um it has a name it's like a acidifier for the soil so i buy amazon i buy in like a big bag and then i have subscription so it comes every three months but i think they just like the acidity the tomatoes too you know they really like it and they do they don't beautifully they don't beautifully here in this bed uh i can show you other places that i planted it and they're not doing too bad this one i didn't plant it this one is a pink hybrid tomato and you know i planted it like two weeks ago i had it for like two months in a pot and i changed the pot until 
it was time to put it and he's doing really good it's it's been two weeks in the ground it's already so i think this might be the the the, the variety that will do good for us here in florida this one is a i think it's a pink too or the daddy variety but you see it's like i planted between my asparagus it was like a spy in there and you see this has been three weeks and it's going up but like i say i planted all of them in december and i kept it in my garage until it was a good time to 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 put it in the ground and then i transferred these ones last week in this bed i think i shoot a video and, and you guys can see it uh, i didn't record the whole process but uh and i put it with my uh egyptian onions and Parsley out there is not doing too well, and uh, I still have a cabbage that came out of nowhere. So I let it be. I don't know if it's gonna make it. It's gonna get too hot too soon, and I don't know. But uh, that might be this one. I kept it from last year. Uh, I think it's a um, goodness, um, a brandy boy, and something else, and. They've been in the ground, I fed them, and they have garlic and Egyptian onions around for pets and all that. And they're not doing horrible, but they, they should be full of tomatoes. And they are, they have plenty, but if you compare it to those over there, it is not even close to the success. It is like, this is like a Christmas tree in spring. Just wanted to share this with you guys, I mean, Sometimes it, you just got to be patient and do a lot of research. But I, I, I knew to, to this channel, I just literally started to put a videos and uh, I'm still learning how to tag and, and put things in the description. I don't have enough subscribers yet to do my own, you know, my life and to add all the information. But I mean, uh, if you see this video and you want the information, is it pink? hybrid from burpees and the other one is a daddy hybrid from burpee also i think it's another variety but i don't doesn't come to my mind right now but uh give it a try as you can see uh, they do good and keep the ph low and that might be the trick you guys have a great day until the next time keep on growing